Mountain are back with another addition to their innovative lineup of peripherals. And as we've seen previously, they definitely like to bring something different to the table with their products. So let's find out what this mouse has got up its sleeve. Hey guys, I'm Matt and welcome back to Kit Guru. This is the second mouse from German brand Mountain, following in the footsteps of the Makalu 67. The Makalu Max is a gaming mouse that aims to cater for everyone. It's got modular side grips, removable and adjustable weights, which Mountain call the gravity control system. It's got hybrid wired and wireless connectivity, and it's packing some decent hardware from Kale and Pixar. It retails for 90 euros on Mountain's website, which will equate to roughly 80 quid here in the UK. Let's check it out and find out if it's any good. Now, some of you may have noticed that I stopped including an unboxing section in my recent videos, as I didn't think that they really added any value for you, the viewers, but I'm bringing it back for this video, as Mountain's packaging game is just next level. The Makalu Max comes in a very, very good quality box, which flips open and is held together with a sturdy magnet, much like the keyboards and stuff that I've checked out before. Then inside of that, the mouse and most of the accessories are held in place with some really high quality foam, there's so much in there that it kind of looks like the mouse has got its very own little padded cell. The cable and wireless dongle are tucked away neatly inside of a, a wedge-shaped drawer that's attached to the upper section of the box. It's honestly a very, very nice unboxing experience with this product, as has been the normal with all of the mounting products that I've checked out previously. Inside that box, you get the mouse itself, of course, along with two additional magnetic side grip panels three weight rings, a six foot USB A to C cable, a USB A to C converter, the 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle, and then finally a few stickers and then a quick start guide. The design of the Makalu Max can be changed on the fly using the weights and the side grips that I mentioned just now. Focusing on the shape to begin with, and you can set this mouse up in a few different configurations which take it from kinda big to absolutely massive. In its slimmest profile, it's still quite a hefty mouse. It's got a large base design which flares out towards the back. There are eight programmable buttons which do not change no matter which setup you've got it in. It's only available in black, in the black finish that I've got here, and it's really smooth to the touch and picks up fingerprints really, really easily. The Makalu Max is a right-handed mouse, as the contoured body suggests. But I think Mountain missed a little bit of a trick by not including the ability to convert the Makalu to a left-handed mouse, especially as it's got those removable side grips. But those side grips, as I mentioned, they only bring cosmetic changes to the shape of the mouse. And so moving the side buttons from the left to the right to suit a left-handed person would have taken a bit more in terms of connectivity. And I imagine it would have bumped up the price quite substantially. Adding both of the more ergonomic and bigger side grips to this mouse changes its shape quite dramatically. In its biggest form, it's huge, very, very huge. It's like the mouse has evolved into its next form, like some kind of weird nerdy Pokemon. Of course, you do also have the option to use a mixture of the two different sets of side grips, and you can add support to either one side or the other. It's up to you. You don't have to use both of the big ones or both of the thin ones. I prefer using the Makalu in its slimmest profile, and as I mentioned, it's still quite a big mouse. It fills my hand and feels like a bit of a unit, however you set it up. Then, as I mentioned, you can also change the weight by adding or taking away these metal rings, which fit inside of a cavity on the bottom of the Makalu. The lightest this mouse will get down to is 108 grams, which isn't lightweight by any means. And then if you add in both of the bigger side grips and the heavier ring to add that weight, that weight shoots up to 125 grams. So coming back to what I said at the start of the video, the Makalu can go from big to absolutely massive and from kinda heavy to quite heavy. There's no lightweight option that you can set it up in. It's either big and heavy or bigger and heavier. You don't need to go straight in with that heaviest ring that I just mentioned though. There are three in total, allowing you to add up to either six grams, eight grams or 12 grams 
onto the base weight of the Makalu. If you like your mice heavy, then there's a setup somewhere in this mouse that will suit you. And moving on from the customizability to look more at the general design of the mouse then, and it's not bad in my opinion. There are eight programmable buttons in total, three on the left hand side, the usual back and forward buttons and a sniper button, which lowers the DPI temporarily when you press it. And then you've got the obvious left click, right click and mouse wheel up top, alongside a pair of buttons that will cycle through any different configured DPI settings which you can set up in the software, which we'll look at in a little bit. Those side buttons are finished in a brushed silvery grey plastic which does look quite nice and they stand out quite nicely from the black found everywhere else. There is RGB on the Makalu Max in the form of a ring which encircles the mouse wheel and those DPI buttons. And the DPI buttons also do have an LED indicator to show which DPI setting you've currently got it selected on. There is a small mountain logo to be found on the base of the right click button. And that's the only branding you'll find anywhere on the mouse, which I really appreciate. I really like subtle, minimal branding. The bottom of the mouse is a bit unusual, mainly due to that cutout section that holds the additional weights in place. And just above that, there's a small toggle switch for turning the thing on and off. The feet do their job well enough. The mouse does glide a little bit, but it's held back from being really smooth and slippery due to its weight and its size. The shell of the Makalu Max is made from ABS plastic, and as I mentioned before, it's a fingerprint magnet. The overall build quality doesn't feel too good, if I'm honest. It feels cheap, and those side panels especially so, they're really thin, and they feel very brittle, and they bend quite a bit. Once they're on the mouse, it's not so much of a problem, but when you've got them off in your hand, you can feel that they're not made of the greatest plastic. The buttons all feel okay though, which is a positive as that's the main thing and that's where the build quality really matters on a mouse, I suppose. The left and right click are quite clicky and the mouse wheel does feel quite rigid and sturdy and it's got some defined stepping when you scroll through it. Here's a quick sound test so you can hear what the mouse sounds like when it's in action. As for hardware, this mouse has a Pixar PAW3370 sensor and it contains Kale GM 8.0 switches. The sensor, which we've seen in a few mice recently, is capable of up to 19,000 DPI, 50 G acceleration and 400 IPS tracking speed, enough to cope with whatever you throw at it. Those Kale switches are rated for up to 80 million clicks, so they should last a long time. But if you ever encounter any issues, then mounting back this thing up with a two year warranty, so you'll get a little bit of extra peace of mind. A pretty standard 1000 Hz polling rate is an offer, which again is enough for casual gamers. And overall, this is a pretty standard hardware setup in this mouse that we've seen multiple times on some different peripherals I've checked out recently. It'll handle anything you throw at it with ease. As for gaming, I've had an okay time with this mouse, but only when using it without any additional weight and with the slimmer side grips installed. Trying to play FPS games with the mouse in chunky mode just felt straight up weird. But that's just my preference, and if you like a fat mouse, then you probably like it like that. Tracking, flicking, sweeping, and precision aiming have all been okay, and I've had no issues with the mouse not keeping up, but it, it's nowhere near the level of a lightweight mouse that's designed to do that sort of stuff. I did use the Makalu with the chunky grips on for work to try it out, but even then it just felt too big and cumbersome for me. I can't stress just how big it feels in your hand when it's set up with those big grips on the side. As I mentioned at the start of the video, the Makalu Max has hybrid connectivity. There's the 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle, and then of course there's the cable, which does allow you to use it while it's on charge, so you'll never be left without a mouse while you wait for the battery to charge up. The mouse can take a second to wake up when it's connected wirelessly, especially if you have the soft sleep mode set too low in Mountain's Basecamp software, which we'll cover in more detail in a moment. The battery life stated in the specs for this mouse is 80 hours, which is quite a bold claim. 
And disappointingly, I got nowhere near that amount out of this review model. I've been using it for the past few weeks and I've been having to charge it every other day. Now, admittedly, I'm on my computer all day, every day for work and for gaming in the evening, but even still, it's not reaching anywhere near that 80 hours. And this is with the RGB on full brightness and the polling rate at 1000 hertz, which will use up more juice, but that's how most people will use it, I'm guessing. I'm getting probably around 20 to 24 hours per charge. And it does take quite a long time to charge up to. It goes from about 15%, I, I stick it on charge at about 15% to 100%, took about three hours, which is quite a long time. The software accompanying this mouse is called Basecamp. It's a really on-brand name from Mountain. And it's okay, it's not the worst that I've used, but it's not the best either. It's relatively simple to use with tabs for profile switching, lighting customization, key binding, macros, and then settings like polling rate, lift off distance, and sensitivity. Switching from tab to tab does have a little bit of a delay, but that could be down to me using a beta build of the software for this mouse. The customization is all pretty self-explanatory, and the software does the job of tweaking the mouse as well as it needs to. I'd just like to see it streamlined a little bit to just improve how it feels, how snappy and responsive it is when you're clicking around between the various screens. So in conclusion then, it's a bit of a mixed bag on the Mountain Makalu Max. While at its core, it is a decent mouse with good hardware, good sensor, good switches. I just feel it's a little bit too heavy for my taste. If you like a chunky mouse, then it might be worth checking this one out and it might suit you a bit better. I feel the, the extra side grips do lack a little bit in the build quality department. They do feel slightly cheap, but they're not too bad. But in its slimmest form, it's still a bit chunky for me, for my personal tastes anyway, but that might be something you're after. Overall, I feel it's quite a versatile mouse. It's quite innovative, again, as we're used to seeing from Mountain, and this is what the industry needs, to be fair. Just try something different, but it could be a little bit better. And that's the end of the video, guys. Please leave a like down below if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to Kit Guru to keep up with the latest PC gaming news and reviews. If you go down to the video's description, you'll find links to our Patreon page, our Discord server, and our website if you want to check any of that out. And just underneath the video, you'll find links to buy any of the merch that you see me and the other guys wearing in our videos. Anyway, guys, I've been Matt. This has been the Mountain Makalu Max. I'll speak to you in the next one. Look after yourselves. 